Hey guys, today we're gonna to try something new on the channel. I'm going to be reacting to classic magic. In this episode, Di Vernon's Cups and Balls routine. Stay tuned. Hey guys, Alan with the Magic Minute here where we take tricks and turn them into real magic. If this is your first time on the channel, I'm a full-time professional magician and I give tips, tricks, tutorials, and even reaction videos like this one. So if that sounds neat to you, hit the subscribe button and that little bell icon, that way you don't miss a single video. Today I'm reacting to Di Vernon's Cups and Balls routine on Magic Circus. Let's go ahead and get into the video. Magic Circus, oh wow, the word Mark Wilson. Press the digitation literally means fast finger action. In other words, the hand is quicker than the eye. Now my special guest this evening is a man who actually devised and refined many of the current techniques used in this form of magic. It is a great pleasure for me to introduce my very good friend and a living legend wow. in the world of sleight of hand, the magician's magician, Mr. Di Vernon. Okay, so I'm stopping here for a second. So if you guys don't know, Mark Wilson, well, he wrote the Encyclopedia of Magic. Uh, it's it's one of the best books ever for starting out. Uh, one of the most mo one of the best modern books for starting out in, in uh, magic in general. Uh, an absolute tome of magic in every category. It's awesome. Uh, back in the '70s, he had a show, a TV show called Magic Circus, and uh, he would perform magic. It was really kind of different because he would do a lot of stage magic shows in a television format. And this was, uh, this was an era of magic that, that happened. Magic Circus went on for a long time, was very popular. Mark was, uh, well, he's a, he's a local hero because he was uh, um, the Mr. Dr. Pepper for a long time, did uh, magic for Dr. Pepper. He was their corporate spokesperson. Uh, Mark by himself is a really cool person. I know we're here to watch Di Vernon, but if you don't know about Mark Wilson, look him up. He's done some really incredible stuff and somebody you should know if you don't. All right, let's go back into the video. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm uh, no youngster. I'm 78 years of age, and I've been studying magic for over 72 years. I wasted the first six years of my life. Yeah, <laughs> that's a classic magic line. Uh, I wasted the first six years of my life. I wasted the first five years of my life. Classic magic line, still funny. <laughs> um, love it. Okay, let's get back into it. I'm just, I'm just geeking out. I love this stuff. But I'm going to do a few very simple things for you. This is one of the most, this is the oldest trick in recorded history. Dates back to ancient Egypt. Now these are sterling silver cups. And the only peculiar thing about them is that one will that. pass through the other. And if you measure, measure the inside measurement, you see they're deeper on the inside than they are on the outside. I explain everything as I go along. You can't go wrong. <laughs> Now, in the old days, they used to judge a magician's skill by how well he did this trick. But they used to work at a very rapid rate of speed. Now, I'm going to do everything in slow motion so you can see exactly how it's done. And if you don't understand, I'll explain it a little later. This is ball number one. Ball number two. You know, every time I do this, people are suspicious. They think the ball is not actually in the hand. It really is there. It's all in the power of the mystic wand. When you spin the wand, the ball always returns to its little home again underneath the cup. Now, perhaps I worked a little too quickly. 78 years old, and uh, wow. Um, that's one of the reasons I'm hopeful that whenever I get to be 78 years old, if I uh, get that far, is that uh, that hopefully my, my dexterity will still be there. That's... The, the level of, of dexterity that he has is just incredible at 78 years old. Just blown away by that. And I think that's probably, you know, because of a magician lifestyle, your whole life using your hands and knowing how to take care of them. You have to really avoid repetitive motion injury. And I do a lot of exercises for that. If you want to see some exercises that I do for that, uh, leave me a comment and I'll post a video on that. What's, what's great is that not only is he doing some really incredible magic, but he's very engaging. I'm having a hard time even caring about trying to catch out the method. I'm really just enjoying the performance. Very, very fascinating to watch. I don't know if you've ever seen his cups. This is a very kind of granulated uh, video, 
but if you can ever get a, a high resolution picture of the cups that he's using, they are absolutely gorgeous. They are beautiful, beautiful cups. I, I seem to recall a story about them being gifted to him by Carol Fox, I think. I'm not sure, but uh, I think that's true. You might want to check me on that. But uh, look them up. They are just absolutely stunningly gorgeous cups. Let's continue watching. The, this is great. That's very kind, but if you just nod your head, that'll be all sufficient. <laughs> Thank you very much. Now, <laughs> I'm going to show you that this is real Egyptian magic, not sleight of hand. As I say, they used to work very rapidly, but I'm going to do this slowly. Now, I'd like, young lady, one of you, will you point, which cup would you like? Which one of the cups? The center one? Very well. Now, watch. I'll take the ball from the center cup. I know you don't believe this, but I'll put it on this side or this side. Which side? Which side would you like it? Over here? All right. Now, watch. That's all. You see, I took it from the one that you asked me to, and I put it right over here on the side you asked. Now, of course, if you'd asked me to place it on the other side, I'd have had yes. to do it left-handed. You have to be ambidextrous to do this. You see, it would leave there and come over there. Now, <laughs> I'll explain this a moment Beautiful. later. Now, I'm going to show you how the ball will penetrate the cups very, very, very slowly. Now, I'm going to do this very slowly. Now, watch this as closely as you can. I'll put the last ball here. You see, they all collect. Beautiful. So if you don't know what's going on right now, the three balls under the center cup, which you just showed, and there's one ball in the center. But, oh, man, this is such a good routine. In fact, I think this routine, you can find this in Encyclopedia of Magic. I'll have a link for that down below if you want to check it out. But oof, I think this is the routine that uh, that's taught in there. But it's so good. It's so, so clean and... It's really easy, actually, for beginners to do, believe it or not. Uh, there, he's using some, well, he's using skill that's very clean, but uh, a beginner could do this routine, at least so far. Obviously, let's keep going on. But, man, it just looks so great. It looks so great. Now, I'm going to show you how it'll penetrate two cups at once. You see, that goes through two at once. The cups are porous. That one fell off. Now, I'll, in the last Clever. ball... I don't want you to nice. think it's already there. There are just two balls and two cups. Watch the last one. Go. Oh, you see all three balls. <laughs> now, you don't have to applaud. <laughs> now, I'm going to make one more maneuver with these little balls. Then I'm going to show you exactly how this old swiddle is performed. Now, do this very slowly. This is the last move. Ball number one. Ball number two. And ball number three. Jump. You see, they jump to the center cup. <laughs> now, the reason this is confusing, because there's too much to watch, too much going on at the same time. I have three balls, three cups, the wand, and I talk all at the same time. Makes it very confusing. So I'm going to do it so simply that any small child could understand it. I'll stand up so I'll do it as slowly as possible. I'm going to put the ball on this side, back in my pocket. And I'll put this one back in my pocket. <laughs> leaving one ball under the center cup. But you see, this ball has returned. Now, the reason for that is very simple. I swindle you. See, I pretend to take it in this hand. That's called misdirection. Magicians call that misdirection. See, I only pretend to put it in my pocket. I bring it down with my little finger with the pinky, drop it behind the cup, and it's, see, it's not really there at all. It's behind the cup. But if I actually put it in my pocket, how many under the cup, young lady? How many do you think? That's close. Three. That's right. Three balls. Three oh, balls. Here, one, here two, comes. three. Now, if I put all here three away, and there's still a ball under the center cup, I must beautiful, use four. Beautiful, well, I'm beautiful. an honest magician. I do Wait use a fourth center. one. You see, there's the fourth one. It's a little larger than the others, and there's one here, <laughs> and there's one over here, and the last one is there. Well, that's how that's done. Uh, uh, an absolute master at work. Uh, wow. So this is... There are some extremely, extremely complicated cups and balls routines. I mean, you can get really, you can get the, the rabbit hole goes very deep with cups and balls routines. And one of the reasons I'm doing this series is so that we can maybe take a look at old masters that you don't know about. We all know about the guys of today, you know, the um, Peter Turners and the Daniel Madisons and all that. But magic is always built on the, on, on the last generation. And so being able to take a look back in the past a little bit and see where we are now because of where we were then I think is really interesting. If you enjoyed this series, please leave me a comment. Let me know if you want to see more of these. In fact, even if you have a magician, that classic magician or performance that you'd like me to review, you can leave that over at the Facebook fan page or in a comment down below. Uh, links for everything I talked about in this video will also be in the description. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, and check out these videos over here because I know you'll like those too.
See you guys.